the security of senior electoral commission officials has been increased as the country gears up for the polls next Tuesday. IEBC Commissioner Abdaghuli on Tuesday said all officials overseeing the elections have been guaranteed of their safety during and after the elections. Nobody has shown interest in harming us but we have taken measures to improve our security. All commissioners have received additional security. All the 290 returning officers are also provided with security, Gulia told a press briefing at the Bomas of Kenya. We know tempers can flare and officials could end up being attacked. He was accompanied by Commissioner Francis Wondery. Gulia said no security incident has been reported so far. We are safe for now. We do not know about tomorrow but every measure has been taken to ensure our safety, he said. He was responding to a question on whether staffers at the commission are worried about their safety, given that a senior technology manager was found murdered around the same time in the 2017 elections. Chris Mzando died on 28 July after an abduction. Mzando's body was found in Kikuyu alongside that of a 21-year-old woman. Both had been stripped naked. Speaking during a media interview on 13 July, IEBC Chairman Wafala Shpukati said claims by some politicians that some IEBC officials had met with Kenya Kwanzaa officials had led to the profiling. He said some of his colleagues are now being linked to political affiliations. If you look at our staff in the commission, especially in ICT, they are now frightened because their photos are now all over the media, Shpukati said. Gulia said that two toll-free numbers, 1,543 and 1,544, have been established, where voters could get information they need or clarifications. He said out of the 45,000 Keems kits used in the 2017 election, 41,000 of them were found to be in good condition. We have asked Smartmatics to provide an additional 14,100 Keems kits. That will bring to total 55,000 kits for the 46,000 plus polling stations, he said. He said the dispatch of election materials is ongoing with no reported incidents so far. Some materials have already arrived in the counties to be dispatched to the constituencies later on, he said. He reminded voters that they will be required to produce documents they used to register as voters for them to be allowed to vote. Wondery said those who are not on the register will not be allowed to vote. We did voter verification and it was during this period that Kenyans were required to raise concerns, if they had problems with their details. If you did not raise any questions then, too late. There is nothing we can do. Just wait for 2027, he said.